Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best set in Madden, the best method of Madden, something that you really want to be taking advantage of right now. You guys, you know, you guys know the deal already. I'm breaking down the math. You guys have the calculator already. I'm going to be showing you guys just about everything that I need to show you guys. Now, I'm super excited for this. I did this uh, the set yesterday myself to test the math. I tried everything out. I'm going to be going over, like, reasonings, theories, and everything behind why you might want to do this or that. Before we get into the video, guys, if you need coins for this set, if you need new coins from uh, um, Zero Chill, if you need coins for all this stuff, head over to my reserve down below. 30% off using my code Poodle. Make sure to take advantage. But moving on from that, guys, let's get into the video. It's going to be a... I don't want to say a long one, but it's going it's to be some time. So let's go over to the sets and show you guys the sets I'm referring to. And these are going to be any of the master sets. Now, I'm going to go over the best ones first. We have Derrick Henry, Charles Woodson, Bobby Wagner. And then we have the Deion Sanders set. So for starters, guys, I don't recommend you do the out-of-position set yet. And that is because you do not get your free out-of-position player just yet. So I would recommend you wait. I would recommend you start with either the Charles Woodson or the Derrick Henry set. That's my personal recommendation. Reason being is that you do get a uh, nap pack that does give you one of their top pieces. So to complete the set, you need 393 heroes and then 685 to 91 overall players. And you're just going to buy 85s every time. So let's start the pricing of this, right? This is the base pricing right now. So these 93 overall players go for around 135, right? So it's 135 times 3. Now those 85s go for around 15K times 6. So that is going to be. 90,000 coins. So that's 490,000 coins. It costs 490, uh, 495 total to do this set right now, right? Okay, so remember that math. 495k total to do this set. But you get Derrick Henry back. You get three of those Nat cards back. So you see, it's technically still a value. You're getting about a 300k card. And for an additional 195, you're getting three cards that go for 135. So it's not a bad value just yet. But now this is where the magic happens, right? First off, if you guys come over here, and you come over to Chill Factor Tiers. You see in the Tier 1, I mean Tier 5. When you get to Tier 5, you get a choice of a 93 overall Zero Chill player. Now, I recommend you go with the Derrick Henry set. And the reason for that is the defensive players, uh, you, you get these cards back now. And the defensive players in the other set, which is for Charles Wilson, just aren't that good. I feel like you really use some of these offensive players. So, I recommend you get the Chill Factor Tier 5. Once you're there, you get the 993 overall Zero Chill player. I selected Odell Beckham Jr. And then now... You're ready to go. Okay, so you have the you have Odell, right? You can take any of the other ones, it doesn't really matter. I'm just recommending. Now this goes for the same way. Make sure you pick a guy from the set you want. Let's say you do like the Charles Woodson set. You do like the defensive players. or uh what's it called? Make sure you do go over and check. So okay, you have Geno Atkins, Justin Houston, Malcolm Jenkins. Make sure you pick one of them. Because if you don't pick one of them, it's gonna be really hard to do the set. Okay, so go back to Derrick Henry. Now you have Odell Beckham. So now subtract the hundred so now. Remember that we don't have to buy them again, so let's redo the math. Now, this is where the key is, too. You're going to want to take advantage of sniping on these cards as well. I'm telling you guys, it makes all the difference, right? So, let's say Zach Ertz. He's 135. Sit here for, like, 10 to like 10 minutes, I promise, and you'll find one for, like, 125. Okay? So, let's add him. 125 for Zach Ertz. Now, Odell Beckham Jr. You don't have to count him anymore. You have him for free. Toss him into the set. Next, we got Kenyon Drake. Kenyon Drake, same thing as uh, Zach Ertz. You sit here for long enough, you're going to find him. This one probably for 120, right? Or 125. So let's add him for 125. These little increments of 5 to 10K that you snipe these cards for will make all the difference. 85 to 91. Now, these cards go for about 15K. I'm telling you guys, they're about 15K when you uh, filter them. But really, I was getting them for about 9 to 12. So if you just sit there for like, no joke, every, every like 30 seconds, and a 12K, 110K will be posted. You can get them all for about 9 to 12K. Let's, let's make it 10k for these. I'm telling you guys. Right now, there's just so many that you're not even seeing them. If you're doing this midday, when you're looking, they're all going to be at, they're going to be 15k steady, uh, 12k like every other minute, and 10k every few minutes. I'm telling you, just, just snipe them out. It's only 5k difference between five, 5 and 15, 10 and 15k. But if it's, if you subtract 5k times six, that is uh, what is that? 30,000 coins or 30,000? It's about 30,000 coins that you are saving right there. So. So now, you have all the three cards, and then we're going to add these. So these are going to be 10K times 6. That's 60. This set now costs 310K. Simply by sniping out these cards for 5K less on these and getting the free Odell 
the set went down to 310k from 495k. So now, let's go do the math in the set. So what do you get back? So the first method, guys, is going to be getting rid of Derrick Henry. Now, Derrick Henry goes for approximately around 300k. You can, once you sell him, you get back around 270 at the reduction. So we subtract 270 from 310. 310 is our total. So 310k divided by, or minus 270k, is 40,000 coins. So it, in method one, it costed you 40,000 coins for what? You now have Zach Ertz, you have Odell Beckham Jr., and you have Kenyon Drake. So I'll show you guys my item binder real quick. I do have them right here. I did this set myself last night. Derrick Henry, Zach Ertz, Odell, and Kenyon Drake. So pretty much, if you sell Derrick Henry, you get Zach Ertz, Odell, and Kenyon Drake right down here, all for the low price of 40K. So either you're getting three heroes for damn near free, right, for almost free, and that's the first method. Now, I did the first method because my team obviously needs to be upgraded, so I figured I could use the three players as overall boosters as, you know, chem guys. Now, remember, keeping them's not bad because you do need to get extra chems on people, and by keeping them, you are able to go ahead and toss good chems on them. As you guys can see here, you go to upgrade, and you can do a bunch of stuff with them. They do get some extra times chems other people don't get, of course, because they are in higher overalls. So make sure to take advantage. That's one of the methods. Now, method number two, which is the one I'm currently using right now, which I don't know if it's recommended. It really just depends on if you like Derrick Henry or not. I'll probably sell him. That's why I'm not powering him up. Method number two is, guys, you go ahead and you keep everything. The way I see it is, let's just, okay, there's two things here. Let's just say you don't want to keep Derrick Henry. You just want to play with him for like a week and then sell him. Method two is what I'm pretty much doing, and that's the method. You pretty much keep them all. And for now, it's going to cost me 310k. For Derrick Henry and 393s. It's worth it. And then let's say like in a week. I, I can sell Derrick Henry for 260 or whatever. I lose a little bit more. But if it ends up being like 70k. So it's a 80k I actually ended up spending. And I got to have Zachary. So Odell Beckham Jr. Kenyon Drake forever. And I had a loaner Derrick Henry. It's really not a bad value at all. I highly recommend you take advantage of it. And of course there's always method. Uh, there's always method number 3. Which method number 3 is. Let's say. Uh, okay so for a fact. I don't want Derrick Henry to sell him. That means 40k for Zach Ertz, no doubt, and Kenny Drake. Then you say, I'm definitely not going to use Zach Ertz. You quick sell him for Snow. And then you quick sell Kenny Drake for Snow as well. That's 16,000 Snow, and all you wanted was Odell. So pretty much, essentially, you end up with Odell. You end up making coins off the, out of Snow, pretty much. And you end up with a profit off of this. Now, it's a lot of work for a tiny Snow profit, but it's not horrible. I recommend, like I said, my, 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 my go-to usually is method number one. You sell Derrick Henry. You make you make your coins. You only end up spending 40k for 393s. And then method number two is my other go-to. It really just depends on how the master is. So for now, I'm keeping Derrick Henry. I'm gonna rock with him for a little bit and have some fun. If I notice that he's not too great, that's fine. I just go ahead and I just sell him, and I end up having the free 93. Well, cheap 93s. Essentially, it's two free 93s. If you look at it that way, you're pretty much getting one for free and two for free because you're only paying 40k. And let's just say the 40k was for Odell, right? You end up getting Zach Ertz and Kenyon Drake for free. So that's pretty much how you get all three of them just about free. But essentially, you get two for free. I pretty much wrapped up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Hopefully, you guys do go ahead and take advantage of the set. I'm telling you guys, the set is super glitchy. I love doing master sets. It's such a great way to go ahead and stack. Like, look at that. I got 393s and 95 for the cheap price of 310. Now, here's my here's my uh, my my advice, guys. If you ever want any of the heroes in a set in, in the in the master sets, always do the set. Like, if you want Kenyon Drake, why buy Kenyon Drake for 140, right? But if you could just go ahead and do the set. At 40k, for 40k, which is 100k less than what you're going to spend on Kenyon Drake, you get Kenyon Drake, Zach Ertz, and Odell now, once you sell Henry. So instead of buying one, you get three for half the price, or less, even less than half the price, right? So if you ever want a hero player, always go ahead and make sure you are doing the set. It doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter how many. If you want at least one hero, do the set. If you want two heroes, please do the set. I see people who will rock out with Kenyon Drake and Odell, and they don't, they, they, they never did the set, right? That's just dumb. That's almost 300k worth of players. When for 40k, you can get both, all three of them. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you need coins to complete this set, head over to my reserve down below. You don't want to miss out. Enjoy the sets while they're still hot. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Pick up some coins. Let me know down below if you guys are snagging some. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.